afternoon baseball here on the show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Milwaukee Brewers and the Tampa Bay Rays. Digging in, Lorenzo Kane. He will lead this one off today. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Hit in the air down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. The 1 2. And this guy's a grinder. Fouls off good pitches and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. Line to shortstop, and there's one away. Digging in now for the Brewers, Brock Holt, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Here it is on three and one. Popped him up. Adamas is there, and he makes the catch for the second out. So coming to the plate, Christian Yelich. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. One and two now as that one's fouled off. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. Hit sharply on the ground to the left. Reined in. And safe, says the first base umpire, as the throw was too late. Standing in now, Ryan Braun. Pitch inside the throw. Not in time as he steals second. Two and two. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. In the air, down the line in left. Left fielder is on the move, and he makes the catch in the corner. So here's Kevin Kiermeyer. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Here it comes on one and one. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. Real ugly 0-1 swing there. As a pitcher, you've got to be hunting for the strikeout knowing you have this guy way off balance. So he got him swinging. Kevin Kiermeyer is sent packing to begin the bottom of the inning. 3-2 pitch. Swing and there it goes deep to left. No chance at bringing this one back and gone. An absolute bomb. Into the box, Austin Meadows. And it's one and two. Hey, from a pitcher's standpoint, sometimes the greatest pitch is the slider that backs up. He got away with that one. But he wants that thing to bury down the way. And he'll take it onto the bag himself. Two gone now here in the first. Got it good. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up outfielder Hunter Renfro. Even two and two count to Hunter Renfro. Two out, nobody on. Inside with the slider, and that'll back him up a bit. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Payoff pitch one more time. Again, he sends it out of play. There's ball four. And that'll bring in Yandi Diaz. Batting fifth. The third baseman. Yandi Diaz. Now the one and one pitch. Two 
Renfro, the runner at first with two gone. Takes this the other way to right. Yelich is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. So here is Abisayo Garcia. He was not much of a factor at the plate during yesterday's win as he took an 0 for 4 line. Here comes the pitch for Garcia. Line to shortstop, and there's one away. At the plate, Jed Jerko. The first baseman, number five, Jed Jerko. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and it's full three and two. When you get yourself to a 3-1 count and you get a fastball, those are the ones you really want to punish. Couldn't get the bat on it, so we'll see if that comes back to haunt him. That is tough. The second baseman, Eric Sogard. In now, Eric Sogard. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at 2-2. Two and two. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. In there, a base hit. Batting it. The catcher, number nine, Manny Pena. At the plate, Manny Pena down the third baseline. Set. Here's the three and two. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Next to bat, Orlando Arcia, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. The set and the one one. Two men are on with two men out. Hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike, and the inning is over. Digging in now, Brandon Lau, and he's carrying a batting average of just over 300, so clearly he's been a productive player with the bat in his hand so far. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground, but a foul ball, one and two now. Now here's the pitch. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Set to get his day started, G-Man Choi, batting just a notch below 300 so far on the season. Two balls and a strike to the Rays' first baseman. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. A two-and-two two count. Here's the pitch. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Now batting, Willie Adamas. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. To one and two now. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Struck him out, so he makes quick work of him here. Three straight strikeouts, and the side is retired. So it's back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring up the center fielder, Lorenzo Kane. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Good change of speeds, but he lays off two and one. Grounded back up the middle. And a base hit, so early trouble to lead off the inning. The bat, the third baseman, Brock. To the plate now, Brock Holt. Liner towards second. Well, this is hauled in by the second baseman. So a runner at first with one out now. And that'll bring up Christian Yelich. Christian Yelich. Throw over to the bag. Don't want to forget about it. The 
the 2-1. Runner at first here, one man out. Now a throw over, a dive, but he's back. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Here's Brian Braun now, 0 for 1 here in the early going. Two out with the man at first. Fastball catches the black there for a called strike. Now a throw over to first, just keeping him close. Has a look, now the pitch. Line towards center field. Kiermaier is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring in the veteran catcher, Mike Zanino. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. Little chopper back to the mound. Throw to first is in time for the first out. Back to the top of the order now. And that means Kevin Kiermeyer will hit next. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Up next for the Rays, Jose Martinez. And he's off to a hot start in this one. Homered his first time around. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. And it's fouled away. Halfway to the plate, this hitter's wondering why he even pulled the trigger on that. His hands feel like. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. So now to the plate, Austin Meadows. Now a breaking ball, but it's low. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. This is hit the other way out toward left field. And that's in there. Base hit. Throw into second. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. Stepping in now, Avisail Garcia. Into the corner and slicing foul. Into the windup, here comes the 2-2 pitch. And the fastball misses high and away there. It's full, 3-2. and two. Great A-B up until this point. A walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup. So he gets the swinging strikeout on the changeup. Avisail Garcia becomes the first out of the inning. Now this one's hit hard to left field by Jerko and deep. Looking up is the left fielder. To the track, to the wall. And this one is gone. A home run. Into the box now. Eric Sogard. Popped him up. Adamas over to his right. Two gone. So bases are empty here with two gone. And up next is the catcher, Manny Pena. One run, five hits, and no errors on the Milwaukee line score so far. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And that's through for a base hit. Make him one for two in this one. The bat, number three, shortstop, Orlando Arcia. In now, Orlando Arcia. Outside, two and one. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. Count even at two and two. He's set. Now the pitch. And now here's the ball hit pretty well out toward right center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away. And that ends the inning.
So now it'll be the four hole hitter Hunter Renfro. He drew a base on balls his first time up. He's ready with the 2 2 pitch. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. The 2 2. And he fouls this one off. The 2 2 one more time. Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats and left. Neither guy given in. Here's the next one. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. So stepping in, Yandy Diaz hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the results sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. And this is going to find the seam as it scoots through on the carpet for extra bases. And he'll reach second now with one away. The batter, number eight. Standing in now, Brandon Lau. High chopper to third. High hop, and he bare hands it. He is out. So a runner in scoring position with two men gone. And that brings up the corner infielder, G-Man Choi. G-Man Choi. Here's the one and two. Started to go. They'll look for the appeal down to third and ring him up, says the third base umpire. He's gone. In now is Lorenzo Cain, a hit in two tries so far. On its way is pitch number 75. Grounder down the line at third. That's through, and he's now two for three in this one. The battle, the third base. Brock Holt. At the plate now, Brock Holt, and he popped him up, drifting back behind first, and that'll get down for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second, as there are two aboard now. Now battle, the right field. So now to the plate, Christian Yelich. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Down the first baseline, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Thank you. On deck, the always dangerous Ryan Braun. Woo. On a good changeup, a swing and a miss, and he's set down on strikes for the second time today. Number eight. Next will be the designated hitter, Ryan Braun. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. You can bet he wants that one back at the plate right now. That's a pitch you normally see a guy drive if he has the right approach going. And that's in there. Base hit. And they will hold that runner over at third as he'll move up only 90 feet. But the bases are loaded with one away. To the plate now. Avisail Garcia. Had nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. A three and one count to the Brewers' left fielder. Man, this guy's had their number all game long. Up, down, in and out. He's pitching very well. Rounded down the third baseline, but this will wind up foul as he runs the count full now. Now a swing, and he pops him up. And I believe, yes, the umpire signaling for the infield fly rule. So striding in, Jed Jerko, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. One and one. Here it is. Hey, this is a huge pitch right here. It would be demoralizing to watch this inning slip away. 
and he comes back to get him. So a great job pitching out of it with the bases loaded. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Willie Adamas looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there, north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. Usually gets a ton of swing and misses. Nice layoff right there. Fight for another pitch. So he punches him out looking at the fastball. Willie Adamas is retired for the first out in the bottom half of the fifth. Fouled off. The 3 2 one more time. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Standing in, Kevin Kiermeyer. He struck out and flied out. 0 for 2 so far. Hit on the ground toward the left. That's through, and he's got his first base hit. He's one for three. Now batting, the designated hitter. Jose. Stepping in now, Jose Martinez. Jose. Pulled high in the air out to left field. On the move is Garcia. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Stepping up to the plate, Austin Meadows. He was thrown out at second trying to stretch a base hit into a double in his last at bat. Yeah, Matty, his wheels got him in trouble a little bit last time. Tried to take advantage, thought the defense was napping a little bit. In retro. This one gets through, and that could bring in a run. And that's going to plate the runner from second as this is now a 3-1 to one ball game. The left fielder, into the box now. Hunter Renfro hit the target, but this is low, two and one. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. The two-two. A bouncer up the middle. And this gets right through him, and that may be a run. And tack on one more, make it a four to one lead. Brent Suter trots in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. Standing in now, Yandy Diaz. And this one's in the dirt. Runners may have thought about it, but they'll stay put, and the count moves to two and one. Lays off the change up and he's ahead in the count now three and one. This is a spot you'd like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. And a half swing here but this is in there for a cold strike two. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first now man he faces. Number eight. Digging in once again, Brandon Lau. Eighth batter of the inning now with the bases loaded and two away. Hard on the ground towards short. Throw on to second for the force and the side is retired. Peter Fairbanks takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 29, Peter all set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring in utility man extraordinaire Eric Sogard. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. He's set. Here's the two two. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Skied in the air to straightaway left. 
Renfro has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number one. Coming to the plate now, Manny Pena, one for two on his line so far in the game. Look out, a fastball up near his dome, and that'll wake you up a bit. Not sure if that was a purpose pitch or not, but I liked it. As a pitcher, sometimes you've got to be willing to back the guy off the plate by running something hard inside. You can't just let guys be comfortable standing in the batter's box against you. And the throw here is going to get him at first. Excellent range there at short, and there are two away now. Orlando. Stepping into the box, Orlando Garcia. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Takes this the other way to right. And Meadows makes the catch for route number three. G-Man Choi the next to hit. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Now the 2 1 pitch. Hey. Willie Adamas, the number eight hitter here, waits on deck. In the air, down the line in left. And they can't run it down. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Garcia has a read on it, one out. Stepping up now, Willie Adamas, 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat, trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. Swing and a line drive, and that's into the outfield for a one out hit. Into the box, Mike Zanino. This one's flared off to the right side. And that's going to fall for a base hit. And a relay home, but this won't be in time as he's well safe and the run scores. Now that the better fielder. Kevin. In now Kevin Kiermeyer. Fouled away. Three two pitch on the ground to the right side. And that's through for a hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now back the designated hitter. Jose. Mar he At the plate, Jose Martinez. Called strike two as he locks him up there. Now here's a drive out to right center field. In to score is the runner from first. It's now seven to one. J.P. Fireisen gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. At the plate now, Austin Meadows. Down low, two balls and a strike. Hit hard down the right field line, but foul. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. The left fielder, Next to bat will be the Tampa Hunter. Bay cleanup hitter, Hunter Renfro. Renfro. Runner in scoring position with two gone. One and one, here it comes. That's a ball. Two balls, one strike.
Hit on the ground out to short. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring up Lorenzo Kane. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Kiermaier is there, and he has it for the first out. One away for the Brewers in their half of the seventh, and that'll bring up the versatile utility man, Brock Holt. Now the one and one pitch. One out, nobody on. Brock Holt now with a full count. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Hit hard to third. Field it cleanly. And that's the second out. And here's Christian Yelich now. The right fielder. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Lau is there for it. He makes the play, and that'll end Ladies the inning. It's time for the traditional seventh inning. Stepping into the box, Yandy Diaz. One for two with a double on his line thus far. Now the one and one pitch is laid off for ball two. Fire Eisen has tossed over 30 innings so far this season and allows over a run in inning, an ERA over nine. Fly ball right down the line and left. On the move is Garcia. And he makes the catch in the corner. Standing in, Brandon Lau. No hits for him yet in the game, despite his team's offensive onslaught. Now the 2-1 pitch. Into right field, that's a base hit. The batter, the first baseman. To the plate now, G-Man Choi struck him out, struck him out again, I should say, his third punch out of the game. Now at the plate, Willie Adamas, who came across to score after doubling in his last at-bat. The one-two. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Kane is under it, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Leading off the inning, Ryan Braun. And they'll need him to get something going here. The 2-2. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. So here's Abisayu Garcia. Bases are empty, one man out. Popped him up. Adamas calls for it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. The Digging in, Jet five. Jerko. He homered yeah. earlier and is two for three to this point. One run, nine hits, and no errors on the Milwaukee line score so far. He loses him on ball four. Here's Eric Sogard. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Eric. A 1 1. Misses ball two. And he misses again ball three. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Sent in the air out to straightaway center. 
And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Here now is Mike Zanino. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. Easy take there as the off speed pitch misses well inside. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Now so Tampa's batting order turns over and set to go. Kevin Kiermeyer. It's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ball game. Here's a swing and a long drive high in the air and deep to center field. Keene is back to the warning track and he's able to put it away for the second out. Now that the Striding forward now is the DH. Jose Martinez, two home runs and a double to his credit thus far, having quite the game. Good slider there, but laid off and called the ball low. Hey, this is a huge at bat right here. This pitcher wants to end this inning and have three, four, five do up to start the next inning. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. After it is Kane. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Chaz Rowe comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. All set to start the ninth in this one. And up next is the catcher, Manny Pena. Now here's a line drive that will make it out into left center, and he's going to have himself a leadoff single. Now batting the kickoff. Orlando Arcia. Into the box now. Orlando Arcia did high and deep out to straightaway left. And he's going to make the catch on the warning track. A fine running play there for the first down. Stepping in, Lorenzo Kane. A couple of singles for him in four trips for him this afternoon. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. To two balls and two strikes now. Two and two. And a full count to Kane. Three balls and two strikes. Now a swing and he pops him up. This is right out in front of the mound. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. Here's Brock Polk now. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. And this crowd wasn't all that big but they've stuck around to the final out. Slice down the left side, but foul. The Brewers down to their final strike. Now a swing and a fly ball. And this should be in there, a base hit. Now back the right field. Christian. Stepping in now, Christian Yelich. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. His career numbers in this matchup, just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at-bats. Oh, forget about this one. Bob Bob Bowie. Gone! Nick Anderson gets the call here as he'll try and look for one out to finish this thing off. Number 70. Into the box, Ryan Braun. Swing and a liner. 
Foul. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two. But when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. Has him down to their final strike. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Good job there to slam the door for the win. And they finish the month with the bang just the way you want to. 7-4 the final finish today. The Rays jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Blake Snell earns the win his second. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for this afternoon's ball game for the victorious Rays. Seven runs on 12 hits. No errors. They left seven men on base. For the Brewers, four runs, 12 hits. No errors. They left nine runners on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 29 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.